What is up everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic day today. I know I am. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to update your Ledger Nano S. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And with the recording of this video, I'm enjoying the one and only Freak Show, but it is the Red Blend here. If you can see, there we go, 2019 Red Wine. It is the Red Blend from Lodi, California. Um, it is a fantastic uh, red blend. I will say I enjoy their Cabernet more so than this one. This one is a little less full-bodied, um, has some interesting tasting notes, uh, more earthy tone than uh, I would say the fruitier version of the Cabernet Freak Show. Um, but this is still a fantastic wine to enjoy. Um, for me, it's a little high on the price point. I got this right around uh, 20 bucks uh, for the bottle. I would say it's more like the $15 range, uh, but that's just uh, my preference based on what I prefer in a red blend. But uh, anyways, still a fantastic wine. You'll enjoy it um, if you go out and get it yourself. But yes, this is Freak Show. And uh, now let's go back on to the rest of the video. So before we plug in the Nano S here, let's go ahead and pull up our Ledger Live app. And once it pulls up here, it's gonna ask for our password. Go ahead and put that in and then we'll get into the main section of Ledger Live. You can see right here um, at the top, you're gonna to see a banner. If you need to update your software for Ledger Live, it will tell you update to, let's say right now it is at 2.45.0. I know that because I just did a video earlier on one of my other Ledger products and I had to update the software. So if you see it, you'll see it at a top banner at the top there. Go watch some of my other videos if you're curious to see what it looks like. But then go ahead and plug in your Nano S here. Oh, let's make sure we have the proper cable. The Nano S is a different version than on the X and the S Plus. All right, and by the way, if you're curious about what adapter I use to use uh, for uh, plugging in my Nano S into my MacBook Pro, I'll put a link in the description below of the video um, because I know I have people once in a while comment saying, hey, I wish people would show what adapters they use. Um, there's plenty out there that you can use, but I'll put the one down below that I use. Um, and then you're gonna see here, it is now asking for my pin. So let's go ahead and put my pin in. All right, and so I should have showed what I did here um, on the screen, but in order to accept the pin, you guys probably know this, just click the two uh, buttons at the top, and now you can see I am inside my Nano S. You can see a couple apps. So then let's come on over here on Ledger Live and click on Manager. It's gonna say Loading, and then on the screen here, it's gonna say Allow Ledger Manager. Click both screen, or both buttons, I should say, at the top. Just like that, okay, and now we're in. Loading again here on the screen. And then, once it comes up here, it's gonna let us know if we need to have a firmware update or if we have any apps that need to be updated here, okay? So right now it's saying, okay, so the firmware is up to date for the Nano S, we have 2.1.0, all right? You can see some of my other videos if you wanna see where there's a firmware update. I show you how to, to update that then. Uh, but it's super easy, super easy how to do. Uh, but right now we're updated on our firmware, which is awesome, okay? And then it's showing me that, hey, by the way, Ethereum, the application needs to be updated, okay? So that's super easy here. We're gonna go ahead and click on Update All. All right, and there we go. So now it is updated accordingly. You can go to the apps installed. Uh, I've, I have Solana here in Ethereum on this particular Nano S. And right now Solana doesn't need to be updated. Uh, but if, yeah, let's let's say we wanna add another application. Let's, uh, let's do, uh, okay, so now we've got Solana and Ethereum already. Okay, so it's saying, by the way, this, this is why, this is why I very much dislike the Nano S. Yes, it's the cheapest one out there, but look at this. I'm already using 86 kilobytes. I own, you know, the capacity that I have is 138 kilobytes. It means I only have 52 left. So I can't even add Bitcoin. I only have two freaking apps on here, okay? So that shows you right away how limiting it is to have a Nano S as opposed to an S Plus. So yes, you're gonna pay more for the S Plus or the X, but it is worth it in my opinion if you are holding more than just two or three crypto assets, okay? And I say assets as in not coins, but assets, okay? Keep that in mind. 
So let's go down here. Let's see what can we uh, what can we add. Um, but um bum bum. Well, we can do Matic Polygon. Look at that. It's two kilobytes. So let's go ahead and click on install. Okay, it's updating. All right. So then we can see right there Polygon Matic is right there. We can go to apps installed and it lets me know right now where it's at. And uh, we still have 50 kilobytes free. Um, we could fill it up here if we wanted to. Let's see what else is out there. Uh, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do Monero. Let's just throw Monero on there. That seems to be kind of uh, in the news a bit right now. Um, so we're installing there, it's showing that it's installing here on apps installed. Okay, it's updating. And there you go. So you see Monero is on there as well. So it's showing me that there's only 10 kilobytes left that's free on, on the Nano S, but that's okay. I'm just showing you guys how to add on different crypto assets. You can then go and then add an account here. Let's say for Polygon, we can click on add account. And then I would then have to, it says open app Polygon. Click both buttons at the top here. If we can focus, let me show you. Boom, top two. All right, and now it's adding the account here. All right, synchronizing. And then it shows add existing account, Polygon one, it's right there. We can do add account. We can also add more if we wanted to. Account added successfully. We can go back to manager. And by the way, I'm gonna be, okay, so then it's right there on the main screen here. It's right there on the main screen as you can see, okay? And it's loading. All right, and so there we go. Now we're back to where we were. And like I said earlier, you will have a banner up here at the top if you need to update the firmware on your Nano S. I don't need to because I'm on the current firmware. And as I like to say in all my videos, guys, please do this for me. Always keep your systems updated, okay? Not only Ledger Live, make sure that's updated, but make sure your firmwares are up to date, okay? And then lastly, make sure your apps are updated accordingly on all your Ledger products. I can't tell you how many times I've had people reach out to me in the comments on my videos saying, hey, I haven't touched my ledger for three years, for five years, and now I can't update it, or I'm having issues updating it, and now it's a headache because they're reaching out to customer support. Ledger's gotten better with customer support, but I don't, I don't wanna have to mess with that if all I have to do is update my system. So you don't have to be like me. Typically, I like to update my systems every month or every two months just to make sure things are updated accordingly. There aren't updates every month. Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not, but I just, I'm my own bank. And I always wanna make sure that everything is running smoothly and that nothing uh, is outdated and then suddenly I'm, I'm starting to have issues and I can't get into my crypto assets. So please just do it for me. Make sure you update your systems accordingly, okay? And if you always wanna see, so you can always see your firmware. Here's the 2.1.0. If you ever wanna see what Ledger Live is at, come on over to settings. Come on over to about, and you can see right here, Ledger Live 2.45.0, and click on this button to see details on what is included in that update, okay? If you guys found this video helpful, please, as always, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then leave a comment in the section below if you found this video helpful or if you have a question. Even if I'm not posting videos, I'm always responding to people that comment on my videos. I sometimes respond within 24 hours. Sometimes I'm on my computer and I respond right away. Great if, if that happens for you guys, but uh, otherwise I'll do my best to respond to you in about two to three days if I can. But typically it's faster just because I enjoy helping you out but engaging with you guys, the community on YouTube. So if you found this video helpful, like I said, smash that like button and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.